LibreOffice versus Google Docs. Well, both Office Suite apps are free, and one is cloud-based, while the other has to be installed. Also, both include a word processor, spreadsheet app, and presentations app. But which of the two would be the best that we could actually get for paying zero bucks? You'll find that out after watching this video. So without further ado, let's get going. Platform Availability and File Compatibility Actually, these two apps could be really a bit different when it comes to the way it works. Since almost all of them work in almost all platforms available, LibreOffice behaves as an installed app, while Google Docs acts as a web-based app. All its main apps like word processors, sheets, and presentation apps are compatible with multiple file formats, as well as Microsoft Office formats. It's just that LibreOffice has a bit of an edge for having more apps, so more formats. App Requirements Speaking of its obvious difference, Google Docs takes up no disk space while being entirely web-based and works nicely with any web browser. On the other hand, LibreOffice, though installed, still took less storage compared to Microsoft Office but would look slightly pixelated when viewed. Features Next, Google Docs mainly runs with the cloud through browser-based apps where you could work with your files seamlessly online. It's comparable to a simplified version of Microsoft Office that focuses more on a minimalist approach and simpler usage, while LibreOffice has almost the same features. Aside from that, you could work on it even offline. Lastly, it supports a macro recording system along with some visual basic applications. User Collaboration then as far as it goes with the advanced features, Google Docs loses out to LibreOffice but wins in terms of user collaboration. Since LibreOffice has no counterpart with Google features such as Gmail and Hangouts or Meet, and Google Docs files can be shared with a simple URL rather than attaching the file to an email. Cloud Services When it comes to ease of access and portability, Google Docs would be the top dog, since the way it works as a web-based app would fully maximize the use of Google Drive. This means that as long as you've got an internet connection, then you'll be able to open and work on your files anytime, anywhere, while LibreOffice could still be synced in the cloud through Google Drive or OneDrive. Ultimately, you would be able to use both Office Suites entirely for free. But if in case you're an enthusiast of convenience and availability, then Google Docs would be your favorite. You've just discovered an amazing topic about LibreOffice versus Google Docs. And now click this and let's see the next amazing topic.